Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Schlage number N523-091. This is a small format interchangeable core driver, Schlage calls this. This is when you are installing uh, small format, which is synonymous with the name BEST and has been since the patent was awarded on small, on uh, removable, well, I think it would be called removable core at that point, um, in 1921. Uh, small format is what it's called. It was not always known as small format. It was known as best type or best style, um, inter uh, removable, or I should say interchangeable core. And it was Schlage actually that coined the term small format. They coined their platform large format. Everyone else, oh, pardon me, let's back up. Schlage coined the term small format to refer to best and its clones, Falcon, Arrow, etc. They then coined the term full size interchangeable core. They use that. Everybody else who makes one that is not small format is called large format. Medico, Yale, Sargent, Asa, um, Multi Lock, you know, down the down the line. Everyone who makes an interchangeable core system. Um, but when it comes to Schlage and running small format cores into it, best or its clone, uh, you're going to need a driver, and this is it. Now, this is the only item you'll need if you're doing a 7-pin core. If you are doing a 6-pin core, you're going to need the spacer that goes with that, and we'll talk more about the spacer in a moment. Um, because without the spacer, which would be installed on the tuning fork side, that tailpiece might move a little bit inside of the lock, and you certainly don't want that. Let's do some. Let's take some dimensional properties of the item. <clears throat> Overall length is about 1.842. 1.842 overall length. The length of the portion that will go into the lock chassis. 0.971. 0.971 is the length of the posts that will go into the back of the core, 0 0.794, 0 0.794, diameter of the post, 0 0.122, 0 0.122, the width of the driver portion, 0 0.245, 0 0.245, and then its thickness, 0.097. Point oh nine seven thick. Okay, let's switch to the screen view now and take a closer look at some supporting information. Here is the item that we are looking at. Not a whole lot to see here, but we have some pictures we could take a look at. Okay, I also have a picture of the spacer that would go there as well. Not included with this, but the spacer would mount right down in this area. Now, there is below this video a link to the installation instructions that would that would come with the entire part number. Uh, that part number would be an 09-774. If you ordered that, you're going to get the driver and the spacer and these instructions, in fact. That's an 09-774. Then there is a link to the parts drawing, and that is out of the service manual and simply shows all of the instances where this item comes up. Okay, That's depicting a six pin core with the spacer and all of the places where, where it will show up in the service manual. So I'll leave that up to you to discover um, those locations and any additional information that might be of use to you. Okay, Now there is a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page where we can uh, pull up not only all of the Schlage products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation here, here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. <clears throat> the full service manual <clears throat> can be seen here. That's over a thousand pages of parts drawings of Schlage locks. There's also encyclopedic documents here as well. And as I zoom out, you can see that there's a lot of documents. Uh, to name a few, the Primus service manual is here. 
a template index is here. If you ever bump into wafer locks uh, from mid 20th century, the wafer lock service manual is here. The key blank and quick reference guide uh, is here, very handy document that will allow you to review uh, part numbers actually. I use it to remember, uh, I use it so that I don't have to memorize the part numbers for key blanks. That's all on here, really handy. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, a common utilitarian type of item, if you've got small format, seven pin this, you'll, you'll need this. If you don't have it, you'll need it. Um, I would imagine when you are buying a ND53BD lock, it's gonna include this. Why you might be ordering these separately, they've been removed, thrown away unintentionally. Um, I don't know. I mean, they assuming they're included with the lock, I don't know why you would need these other than just, you know, it could be uh, fatigue. It could be failure. Uh, you could have a tailpiece wear with time. You put enough use into it in, into anything naturally and it will wear out. But I have seen these tailpieces kind of round over with time, which means as you turn the key, you don't get full retraction. I suppose that's a possibility. I don't know that there are any Schlage locks that are small format, even though let's say they've been making them for 20 years, that are really old enough to see that sort of wear and tear. But nonetheless, whatever the reason is that you need this, here it is. If you have any questions on the N523-091 uh, small format driver or any other Schlage product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.